Hey everyone and welcome to this episode of Candidly Crew. I'm your host, Chesley White, and I'm here with Marina Register, who's the current president of Crew Upstate. Um, why don't we introduce ourselves and, and say a little bit more about the podcast? For sure. Um, I'm Marina Register. I am the current president of Crew Upstate for 2021. Um, I'm a CPA and an audit manager at Cherry Beckert LLP. So I've been on the board for, this is my fifth year, so I spent three years as treasurer, um, as one would expect of a CPA, and then slowly worked my way up the ladder to president. So that's me. Yeah, and and I have been a crew upstate member since 2015. Uh, I was on the board, I believe, in 2017 or 2018. <laughs> I've been on, on the board for three years and just recently rolled off. Um, and so now uh, my main role within the organization is going to be uh, producing the podcast. So. Yeah, we had bigger and better things for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're super excited about the podcast and uh, just wanted to, to kick things off. And given that this is episode zero, let's let's talk about that and, and what yeah. we hope to accomplish with it. Yeah, explain why I'm here. Exactly. Even though it's your podcast. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. So, uh, I mean, we're here because Chesley and I met through Crew Upstate and one of well, just so everyone knows what it is, it stands for Commercial Real Estate Women. And we are dedicated to influencing the real estate industry by advancing the achievements of women. And so we are the Upstate Chapter, we cover the Upstate of South Carolina, and you know we have a really diverse membership that goes from you know architects like Chesley, accountants like me, brokers, attorneys, anyone that has any kind of um, involvement with the commercial real estate industry. And so we've been working really hard to, you know, provide value during a pandemic. And so this is one of those ways that I think we're going to do that. Yeah, absolutely. So Marina and I were traveling together at a leadership conference uh, back in, what, February of 2020? January of 2020. Okay, right before everything happened. So we had no clue what was going on. Um, So... We were in Santa Clara, California, and uh, Marina and I, we love traveling together, first love of all. We're, we we're foodies. We, it's our favorite thing. We go to a new place. We you know, look up, like, where are the best restaurants? Where should we eat and, and hang out? So. Maybe the one thing we talked about before the leadership conference. Was, yes. Okay, where are we going to go eat while we're there? Yes. Um, and so um, one of the mornings, we woke up and decided to go get breakfast. And so we, of course, jump on Yelp to see you know, where the be- best, best breakfast places in town. Mm-hmm. And um, sure enough, Michaela's yeah. came up. We found Michaela's, which you know it had the it had the stars. It had the thing we wanted, which is breakfast burritos. Jumped in our Uber. Yep. So good. Yep. Had good coffee, as, of course, as well. Always need that. Yeah, definitely something you need. Um, so we were just we we're sitting there eating breakfast, and we were talking about our chapter and and expanding upon all this this knowledge and right I mean the whole reason Chesley was there was because I asked her to come be the delegate for the chapter and the delegate is just for like having ideas and being the person to bounce things off of and for me to prepare for my year's presidency so I was so excited to have Chesley there and she was like, I have this one great idea. I was like, yep. okay, hit me with it. Yeah, so I'm an avid podcast listener. I love storytelling. Um, I think there's just something that, that hooks you in about storytelling and, and listening to people's um, you know, stories and how they got to where they are. So we were talking about um, podcasts in general and mm-hmm. how we have so much diverse membership and, and people with lots of experience in our chapters that we – could really give back to our chapter by extracting some of this knowledge from them and just try to figure out like what would that look like you Mm -hmm. know like could we loop that in with some type of storytelling kind of concept Um, so originally we were thinking you know maybe this is like a a coffee chat format or we were going to have someone come in they just speak to whoever was there and share their story and have a chance to um, give people an opportunity to ask them questions after. We're also kind of hoping to build like the idea of mentorship, right? Mm-hmm. We wanted a, like a soft open. So it's hard to ask someone to be a mentor, but if you know their story, then you have kind of a way to say, oh, tell me a little bit more about this. That's exactly or right. A yep. little bit more about that. Yep. And so just a way to kind of open that line of communication, I think, between experienced and maybe less experienced people in our chapter and in the industry. Right. 
and again, we didn't know the pandemic was coming, so <laughs> we, we, uh, we didn't have the exact idea of a podcast, um, but once, once everything happened and we needed to kind of switch to more vir virtual programming, we thought, hey, this is a Why perfect not? idea. Yeah. Um, it gives us a way to archive the content um, for later viewing, and uh, it's just we could re reach a lot more people, actually, so it's kind of a silver lining. I think um, so. and everything. I mean, I love the idea of a podcast coming from my president. <laughs> that, yeah, that is It'll true. It'll live on forever. Yeah, check that box. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, so we we came up with the idea and uh, just you know thought, okay, this would be a great way to um, to have these chapter members that have a lot of experience come on and and tell their story. So should we talk about the format? I mean, you know, I'm here today, but a, a lot of the podcast is going to be you. Yep interviewing these more experienced people. Right, so they'll, they'll come on and we'll just have a conversation with them about what their careers look like. Um, you know, we'll, we'll talk about how they got started, what they learned, any obstacles that they have overcome, and, and anything that, any advice they have to give um, yeah. back to, their, to the chapter. Um, and again, like Marina said, if you're watching, and this is kind of a soft opening for you to reach out to these people, um, that we speak to and, and say, hey, you know, I saw I saw you on the podcast. I you know listened to your story, and I want to talk to you more about how you talked about this. Yeah. And so that would be a great way to to get additional mentorship if if it's something that you're looking for. And part so. of what we're going to do after every single episode is upload their contact information to our Facebook page and to our website, which will be crewupstate.org, yep. so that you have a way to interact not only with us but then potentially with the people that we have on the podcast. Yep, absolutely, and that'll be the best part, I think. So. I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So if you guys have any feedback um, after after checking out these episodes that you want to give us, be sure to comment on our Facebook page and let us know what you want to see um, or anything we could do differently. Uh, we're super excited uh, to share this content with you and, and to get it out there. Um, so thanks a lot, and uh, we look forward to, to checking it out with you guys soon.